Today we're going to try making some bass jigs, pouring some lead. I'm going to show you how, to, how I pour, how I make these swim jigs, how to make the Arky style bass jig. These are all do-it molds. I'm also going to make a football jig. And one of my favorites are the weighted hooks. I use these for swim baits. And so we'll make a few of those too. So I've already got the lead pot hot. The lead's all melted. <clears throat> the first one we'll do is the grass jig, the swim jig. You gotta get your hook in there. I use the Teflon pull pins to keep the uh, hole for the weed guard clean. I use the tray to catch any dripping lead. So you just stick the mold underneath, raise the handle till the cavity is filled. And you see there's a little bit of dripping there. A little turn on the handle there usually stops it. So we should have a complete pour for our jig. So that's what comes out of the mold. That's a half ounce casting jig, grass jig, whatever you want to call it, swim jig with four out hook. And I'm going to use this one for pipe. I'll twist off the sprue, drop it back in the pot. And the top of the jig's got a little bit of flashing. So we'll trim that off. And I just use a knife. I got it fairly clean. So that one's ready for paint. We'll go ahead and do the Arky style head next. For this one, I'll go ahead and do a th just a 3 8 ounce. You slide the Teflon pull pin in there up to the hook. Close the mold. You can notice along here the seam is completely closed. You want to make sure that's closed all the way or you'll get a lot of flashing. Just put it up underneath. Raise the handle. It fills up. And it doesn't take any time for these to harden up. You can take them right out. Don't touch the lead. The lead's hot. If you think the soft plastic gets hot at 350 degrees, the lead's about 800 degrees. But it cools pretty quick. It's pretty much ready for paint. The next one we'll do is a football jig. Three eighths ounce football jig works pretty good. So we'll do a three eighths. Same thing again, underneath the lead, raise the handle, fill it up. And that one's ready for paint. Now the next ones we're going to do are the weighted hooks. What's nice about these is you can do a whole bunch of different styles of hooks. This hook here 
just a wide gap hook and when this is done I'll put a screw lock on it and that'll be a swim bait hook. <clears throat> There's another one just like it, a little bit bigger, I think that's a 3 out. And that'll go in the quarter ounce slot. And this one is just a regular wide gap worm hook for Texas rigging. I think this one's a maybe a three. I think it's a two watt. It's a little bit smaller. Maybe if that'll fit. There we go. So there's four hooks ready to be poured. Different style hooks. So that didn't close all the way, so something's holding it from closing. I think it's that one right there. There we go. Nope. One of those isn't fitting right. And I can't tell which one it is. It might be that one. We'll just take that one right out. Yeah, that fixed it. Or which one it was. That was this one. And there's the worm hooks. <clears throat> I don't bother painting these. So that's all there is to that. Just a weighted hook. You put a swim bait on there. Actually, grab a swim bait. That one's ready to fish, just like so. Laid it already on there, good to go. Okay, we'll go ahead and paint those jig heads. I'm going to unplug my pot. <clears throat> and I just use a heat gun for painting the jigs. We're going to powder coat them. This one's going to be fire tiger color. Pike. I like to stir the paint up, get it fluffed up a little bit because it'll settle in the container. Just take a piece of wire, mix it around. <coughs> and depending on the size of your head, depending on how hot your heat gun gets, you usually give it 10 to 15 seconds. Keep the hood up fast enough to accept the paint. That's probably good. I'll just do a real quick in the paint, knock the excess off. Okay, and I'll just hang it up here, stick it on the box. <clears throat> this one's going to be a different color. We'll do uh, copper head for this one. Quick swish in the paint all it needs. And we'll do 
flat for the football jig. Those three are painted. Now usually I bake these in the oven for about half an hour at 350 degrees just to cure the paint, but I'm not going to bother with that for this video. Right now I, I could drop this on the floor and they'd chip. The paint will chip, but if you bake it and cure it in the oven, they get really durable. They last a long time. You can beat them off of rocks and they'll stay pretty, uh, they'll look pretty clean. Okay, now for skirting the jigs. Actually, this one. I don't know if you can see it in the video, the, the paint is kind of uh, grainy looking. I don't know if it shows up. But if you stick that in the oven, it'll even it out and smooth the finish off real nice. This one here turned out real smooth and shiny looking. That's how they would all look after they come out of the oven. Skirting these is pretty easy too. Take your uh, little collar, this is what holds the jig skirt together, slide it up on the shaft. We got three jigs so I'll go ahead and put three collars on here right now. So for the first one we'll do uh, black and blue for the football jig. You can do two or three skirt tabs for a jig this size. Put your wire inside there and you hook on to the skirt tabs. That thing wasn't pinched down close enough. And just roll the collar over the tab. The skirt's ready. I need to grab some scissors. <clears throat> And you want the collar just slightly off center. You don't want it centered completely, maybe a third and two thirds up here. That way you can let it drape down. And you just take the hook point and center it. And there's a jig. All it needs now is the weed guard. Uh, for the next one we'll do, uh, I don't even know what you want to call this color, it's like green and brown and black, I guess. We'll go ahead and do three tabs on this one. It gives it a little bit fuller skirt, a little bit bigger, a little more water resistance. It'll slow the fall a little bit more. Pull that through, I just use a piece of wire that I bent. Cut 
the ends off. Another jig ready for a weed guard. And we'll do fire tiger for this one. ready. Slide the collar down just a little more. And there's the last one ready for a weed guard. So these are the Wire feed uh, weed guards that come with them. Or fiber weed guards, not wire. <clears throat> Usually I use super glue. I'm wanting to try something a little bit different this time. This is called Loon's Hardhead. It's a water based epoxy. It takes a little bit longer to cure, set up, but it dries really clear. It doesn't, there's no discoloration for the jig head. I'm just going to dip the end of the weed guard in the epoxy. Just stick it in the hole. Like so. And that'll dry in about an hour. A couple hours I'll be ready to fish. That's how I make my jigs. That's it.